American Psycho is a movie I've heard a lot about. Never seen it though. Never seen a goddamn second. I might have seen, might be familiar with like a bit or two from maybe a meme or something, but as for like the actual movie and shit like that, not a damn clue. I know it's got Christian Bale, so that's pretty exciting. That's all I got. That's clearly ketchup. Oh, this is like a Dexter intro, isn't it? Yeah, come on now. What do you think I am? Willem Dafoe. Interesting. Jared Leto too? What the fuck? You could have told me that it was just Christian Bale in this movie and nobody else and I would have believed you. I've just never heard anything about this movie other than seeing a Christian Bale meme. Our pasta tonight is a squid ravioli and a lemon grass prawn. And the fish tonight is- And y'all are doing too much. I'll take a hamburger, damn it. Why aren't we doors yet? Because Bateman won't give the maitre d' head. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Jew bastard. Jesus, McDermott, what does that have to do with anything? I've seen that. His face. Off. You spin a dreidel. Oh my. You spin a dreidel. His face is fucking great. Cool it with the anti Semitic remarks. Oh, I forgot. Dayton's <laughs> dating someone from the wow. ACLU. <laughs> he may be an American psycho, but he's, uh, he's quite progressive. You're a fucking ugly bitch. Oh my gosh. Stab you to death and then play around with your blood. Dog, it's only 25 bucks. Holy shit, that flip. She didn't react at all. Did he even say that out loud or something? That was so fucking, holy hell. That flip, that switch. I live in the American Gardens building on West 81st Street. Narration. On the 11th floor. My name is Patrick Bateman. I'm 27 years old. Damn, dude, he looks fucking. I believe in taking care of myself. I see that. And in the shower, I use a water activated gel cleanser. Then a honey almond body scrub. And on the face, an exfoliating gel scrum. Jesus. He's got such a deep fucking routine. Then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. Jesus, dude, there's so much that goes into his fucking routine. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable, I simply am not there. <laughs> Interesting. Damn, I'm already intrigued so much. Something romantic? No. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Forget it, I'll make them. <laughs> I love his fucking face, holy shit. I'm already loving Christian Bale's performance. He's got like such a perfect face, just it seems, seems like a mask, you know? I see why you just don't quit. Because I want to fit in. Okay. Damn, getting a huge Dexter vibe. I wonder how much like this played into the creation of the Dexter character. The menus in Braille. I see you've met everyone. You the menus in Braille? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Stop terrorism and world hunger. We have to provide food and shelter for the homeless and oppose <laughs> racial discrimination and promote <laughs> civil rights to traditional moral values. Oh my god, dude. Most importantly, yeah. We have to promote general social concern. What a great man, Patrick Bate. Dude, it sounds exactly, like, it's perfected. It sounds exactly like this character woke up in the morning and just read a script for the day, and now he's just reciting it. Like, he did his research on what it will take to be a normal guy to look like to fit in, you know? Like, he, he read extensively the newspaper. He knows what to talk about, what to say to sound like a normal person. And the delivery is just perfect, I think, to sound exactly like he's only reciting it and he doesn't mean it. I can only get these sheets in Santa Fe. These are very expensive sheets, and I really want to in those sheets. If we don't shut your fucking mouth, I will kill you. Oh my god! Holy shit! That sounded real, man! That sounded like in a genuine... Oh my god. Um, yes, I know it's a little late, but is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight or eight-thirty, perhaps? Oh, it's funny. Oh, he finds it real funny. Okay, I guess that's helpful. Thanks, guy. This is Dorothea? Good evening. Yes, dear. Liar. Courtney, you're gonna have the peanut butter soup with Liar. smoked duck. Hello, Jared Leto, look at him, nice man. Tie. Alan has mistaken me for this dickhead Marcus Halberstram. Marcus and I even go to the same barber, although I have a slightly better haircut. So how's the with narration, man? And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. Ooh. That is really nice. What do you think? Nice. Jesus. 
That is. I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> impressive. Very nice. Mm. Oh, he's getting so tilted. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. <laughs> oh my god. It even has a watermark. Oh, this is incredible. I'm gonna love the fuck out of this movie. Please. You gotta tell me what to do. You gotta help me. I'm so cold. I'm hungry. Oh no. This poor guy. What is it? What is gonna happen? Oh, thank you, mister. Thank you. Oh no, this poor guy. What is What a fucking loser you are. What? Hmm? Oh my god! <laughs> That went a little bit a little bit farther than I was expecting it to. He had some fucking anger to offload. Jesus Christ, man. I thought maybe he'd be like, I'll help you get a job. Why don't you come up to my apartment and we'll fucking talk? And then he kills him there or something. No, he just killed him on the street and then fucking Oh my god, the dog. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Is Alan still handling the Fisher account? Should I have watched this during Christmas season instead of October? Don't you? Don't you? <gasps> <laughs> that look You're of disgust. Alan. Marcus. Merry Christmas, how you been? Workaholic, I suppose. So he still has him confused. Would you like to hear this? Double absolute Marcus. What is that fucking menu? Yes, what are these ridiculous menus at these restaurants? Well, I could tell you that, Halberstram. But they don't have to kill you. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is great. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Uh, <laughs> excuse me? Uh, Goes out with that loser Patrick Bapin. What a dork. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Another martini, Paul. Oh, you're dead. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own. Commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound. Oh my and god. Oh shit. It's game over for Jared Leto. <laughs> is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. Oh, poor guy. You're done for. I think they're undisputed masterpieces. Hip to be square. <laughs> hey, Paul! Ah! Oh my sweet Jesus! Holy shit! Is this one of my favorite movies ever already? Half hour in? Maybe at least one of my favorite performances so far ever. Christian Bale is blowing me away. It is so fucking perfect, the notes that he's trying to go for. It's almost concerning. Oh, God, dude. Oh, wake up, guy. Where'd the blood go? Okay, continuity error, continuity error. Not perfect movie, no longer my favorite movie ever. There is a moment of sheer panic when I realize that Paul's apartment overlooks the park and it's obviously more expensive than mine. I calm myself and move into the bedroom. Wait, that's the, that, that was the panic? Was that it just was more expensive? Wait, I thought there was gonna be more to that. I guess he, it says greed and disgust are his emotions. Been called away to London for a few days. Meredith, I'll call you when I get back. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, damn. Nice, throwback to Terminator 2, which I only just watched recently. Awesome. There's Mr. Donald Kimball here to see you. Who? Detective Donald Kimball. Uh oh, here we go. It's gonna be for something completely unrelated. Guarantee it. There are definite do's and don'ts. Good oh, there's the fucking, sure. oh my God, I almost forgot about Willem Dafoe. Just mulling over business problems, examining opportunities, exchanging rumors. Spreading gossip. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal things, sure. So it's nothing that official. I just have some basic questions about Paul Allen, about yourself. Okay. Coffee? Well, I, um, I haven't Dude, he's heard. freaking out. Understandable. Lime? Oh, no, really, I'm Dude. okay. You sure? He's really trying to avoid this. American Gardens building, West 81st Street. Mm, nice, very nice. Thanks. <laughs> what can you tell me about? <laughs> I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. Do you feel like that? What? No, not really. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, you know, hang out. Let me think. Uh, Harry's, Fluties, Indosheen, Nell's, the- Not my place. Nowhere near my place, I, I, I promise you. You don't think I did this, did you? Don't you know this? I just wanted to know if you know. Mmm. Had his apartment been burglarized? No, actually it hadn't. Toiletries were missing. A He's trying to walk him through all of the steps that he took to cover his ass. Eerie. Really eerie. <laughs> this conversation, yeah. If anything else occurs to you, any information? Absolutely, I'm 100% with you. Great.
I think Donald Kimball learned a lot with that interview. For most of that, it felt like Patrick was doing most of the interviewing. <laughs> oh shit, Texas Chainsaw! I just watched that two days ago! Whoa! Holy shit! I'm developing my own, like, continuity, my inner continuity. I'm Paul. My name's Paul Allen. Oh, he's trying to create... You're Christy. You're to respond only to Christy. What is the plan? Don't you want to know what I do? What are you doing? I want to know what you are present tense doing. For that, I really didn't understand. Is he gonna kill them? Their work. Watching the mirror. Is there a reason he's using Paul's name, or is it just I don't know? Ah, uh, what the fuck is this drawer? Oh no. He said, when I see a pretty girl walking down the street, I think two things. One part of me wants to take her out and talk to her, be real nice and sweet and treat her right. And what the other part of him think? <laughs> what her head would look like on a stick. <laughs> what? What does that mean? What? Why bring that up? Uh, that was weird. Holy shit, his mask really is slipping. I decided to get a new one too. Oh no, oh no, no, Lewis, don't do it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's putting the gloves on. What the fuck is he gonna do? He's not about to kill Lewis right here. Lewis. God. Patrick. Lewis, wake up. Why here? I've seen you looking at me. Oh, it's like that. You can't imagine how long I've wanted this ever since that Christmas party, Arizona 206. You know, the one you were. Lewis, that's not what this is, man. Patrick just accidentally opened up a whole can of worms there with Lewis. What information have you received? Let me see. You were with... Well, I could be wrong. Oh, God. When was the last time you were with Paul Allen? We'd gone to a new musical called Oh, Africa, Brave Africa. It was a laugh riot. That was about it. I think <laughs> we had dinner at... Here we Lewis in the news. <laughs> oh, my God. Great stuff. Oh, no. I just bought it on my way here. You heard it? That's suspicious. He's gonna have to kill Kimball. I wonder if that's what he's thinking. He's gonna have to kill Kimball. Kimball's gotta be onto him, man. Has to be. So what do you do? I'm into uh, well, murders and executions mostly. Do you like it? Why? Well, what? most guys I know who work in mergers and acquisitions <laughs> oh, God. They don't like it. You missed that. Misheard that. It's very loud. There's something sweet about you. Misreading. Oh god, he has hair. Is that her hair? He killed her. He killed her. Doing the crossword? Meat, meat, bone, meat. Would you like to accompany me to dinner? Don't kill Gene. That is. Where do you want to go? Anywhere you want. Just say it. I can get us in anywhere. Dorcia? He can't do that. He better not kill Gene. What a wonderful view. Gene? Oh my god! I don't want to ruin your willpower. That's no, alright. His willpower. Not very good at controlling it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say his willpower is already pretty shot as it is. What do you really want to do with your life? Just briefly. That's so psychopathic how fucking organized that shit is. Are you seeing anyone? I mean, seriously? Maybe. I don't know. Not really. Oh my god, holy shit. I love Christian Bale in this right now. Oh my god, so much. Now I've really begun to think about changing myself, you know. Don't. Develop. Did you know that uh, Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie, was named Lassie? He knows all about the serial killers, <laughs> man. Have you ever wanted to? What is he doing? What is he gonna do? I'm looking for, uh... Oh my god! Holy shit, dude. Do you want me to go? I do. Yeah. I don't think I can control myself. Oh, well, that's big. Do you want me to go? You sh you really should. I think if you stay, something bad will happen. You know, it was big of him. He oh. did, didn't want to hurt her. Any new thoughts about what you did? Not sure. Um, <laughs> I had a shower. Well, does Marcus have an alibi? 
Yes. It does, you're sure? I checked it out. It's clean. <laughs> no. At Atlantis with Craig McDermott, Frederick Dibble, Harry Newman, George Butner, and you. Aye. Dude, look at his face. Personally, I think the guy went along not so. Split town for a while. Maybe he did go to London. Sightseeing, drinking, whatever. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he'll turn up sooner or later. To think that one of his friends killed him for no reason whatsoever. I don't think there are much of friends. Christy. Christy. Christy, say no. Christy, just say no. Damn it. You already got the check, Christy. Just take it and run. You don't need that. Oh, Christy, rest in peace. Uh -uh. The Whitney Houston's debut LP, called simply. Dude, music is just the shit Whitney he Houston learned. He had four number one singles on it. That's crazy. He's very good at remembering the reviews and shit that he reads word for word. It's a lot of them too. Like every album on the face of the planet, he knows the reviews for. Sneak the hell out of there, please. Ah. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. There's so many dead people here. Leave. Fuck. Go down to the lobby. He's just going out like this. He is bare ass bloodied up with a chainsaw running through the hallways. Is he gonna drop it? He missed. He had to have missed. Holy shit, he got that! What a fucking sequence. What an unreal sequence. I cannot believe what I just saw. That was fucking mad. I need to engage in homicidal behavior on a massive scale cannot be corrected, but uh, I have no other way to fulfill my needs. If only anybody could hear what he's saying. But where? I have to return some videotapes. That's always his... That's his escape, returning videotapes. That's always his thing, his alibi. Oh no. Here, kitty kitty. No. I don't think it says that. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think... Why am I scared? It's not... Okay, that'll do it though. He just killed a woman. Holy shit. You're just leaving a trail, man. I can't believe he just shot that woman. Drop the weapon! Drop it now! Get on the ground! Put oh damn, dude! He's he's really in the shootout right now. Big explosion, nice. There's no way he's not fucked right now. Oh, he's he is reached a fucking breaking point. There's no coming back. No way. Holy shit. He has boiled over completely. <laughs> like he's reached a new level of panic. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some escort girls in an apartment uptown. Some homeless people, maybe five or ten. Um, oh my god, here we go. Girl I met in Central Park. The I whole confession. In lot behind some I killed another girl with a chainsaw. <laughs> I had to. She almost got away. I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face. His body is dissolving in a bathtub in Hell's Kitchen. Jesus! I don't want to leave. I guess I've killed maybe 20 people. Maybe 40. Uh. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I ate some of their brains. Okay. Well. Oh. And then tried to cook a little. Okay. I can excuse the killing of all those people, but I draw the line at eating the brains. <laughs> Just to kill a lot of people <laughs> and um i'm a pretty uh i mean i guess i'm a pretty sick guy i guess you could call me an american psycho <laughs> so what a fucking performance i am at a loss for words holy fucking shit suit up for the last time big guy What are you doing, man? Some of their bodies have been found. 
You saw the ad in the Times? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In the Times. There was no ad in the Times. Ah, gosh. I think you should go now. What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? <laughs> sounding so fucking sad! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I have no idea where this is going for the ending. No fucking clue. Did you get my message? Jesus, yes! That was hilarious. That was Hilar you, wasn't it? Yeah. Not Come on, Bateman. man. By the way, Davis, how's Cynthia? You're still seeing her, right? Wait, Harold. What? What is... Is that Edward Towers? Dude, what is going... Uh, your joke was amusing, but come on, man. You had one fatal flaw. Bateman is such a dork. Such a boring, spineless lightweight. Now, if you said Bryce or McDermott. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. <laughs> He's confused. Um, I chopped Alan's fucking head off. Was... The whole message I left on your machine was true. Excuse me. I really must be going now. Yeah, yeah, probably. No, I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. <laughs> but that's simply not possible. And I don't find this funny anymore. It never was supposed to be. <laughs> Why isn't it possible? Because I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. Just ten days ago. No, you- You did not. We talking about the right person here? What if Jared Leto's name wasn't actually Paul Allen and he was doing the same thing pa Patrick was, where he was switching his name or something out? I doubt it. I highly doubt that. What is going on? I'm so fucking confused. He, he presents himself as this harmless old codger, but inside. Mm -hmm. But inside. But inside doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. But even after admitting this, there is no catharsis. My punishment continues to elude me and I gained no deeper knowledge of myself. This confession has meant nothing. Ooh. That's the end? What? What the f fuck? That was one of the more interesting movies I've ever seen. That was so great. Christian Bale, like, I don't even, he's got to have one of my favorite performances I've seen in a movie in a long time, ever, maybe. I recently watched Shawshank Redemption and Morgan Freeman was definitely one of my favorite single movie performances ever. And uh, I think Patrick Bateman, Christian Bale might have just trumped that because this was, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, man. That ending was a, uh, a trip. I don't know what the fuck. I feel like there's a couple different ways you could take that ending, I guess. Was everything in his head? Did anything actually happen? Was everything just like those drawings that Gene was flipping through? Was this movie like his mind visualizing all of those drawings? Like, did they never happen? Is that the ending that they're going for? Just because the fact that Paul Allen, he's not dead. There's no fucking way he's dead, blah, blah, blah. I just had dinner with him multiple times. Like, but at the same time, was it ever Paul Allen? Like that lawyer, did he go to dinner with Paul and he couldn't even recognize his own fucking client? Everyone was mistaking someone for everyone in this movie, man. Like, I feel like the main core group of friends around Patrick, those four guys, three guys, I should say, counting Patrick makes four. They were all like the exact same fucking person. And I, th I just, I, ha I have to assume that that was on purpose. Cause I was thinking like, wow, they are the, like, they are as stereotypical of a male as you can get, you know, back in the day, not like now maybe, but back in the day, they are, they were all as stereotypical as you can get. And I have to imagine that was on purpose. Like it's possible that stuff didn't happen because the bodies weren't where he left them. I feel like someone would have said something if there was, and there would have been a problem. The lawyer claimed that he had dinner with Paul, although, I mean, that's debatable considering everyone that works for Pierce and Pierce could have been mistaken for literally anyone considering they were all the same person. I don't know, man. I'm so at a loss. You guys are going to have to explain some shit to me, man. I love the ending though. Like I love the ending where he's coming to a realization like, dude, I could not be any more fucking clearer to the entire world around me. I'm causing fucking cops to explode. I'm killing old women at ATMs. I'm pleading my guilt. I am giving out this lengthy, detailed confession, and yet here I am sitting around my friends wondering where we're gonna go eat. His punishment is that he gets to get away with it. I think that's so fucking crazy. I, I, the more I keep talking about it and think about it, the more I fucking love the ending there. So I was wondering, I like, the way the movie was going, I couldn't imagine him dying, and I couldn't imagine him getting arrested. I don't know. Although I expected one of those options, I couldn't exactly see it and picture it. So the fact that he gets, I don't want to say he gets away with it, because who knows, like, 
like like there's still Kimball that was suspicious of him that we didn't have a conclusion to that at all. Although we kind of did because Kimball said at that dinner that, oh, I just assume he's just a crazy and he ran off. And I, I'm guessing that's closing the book on that. And that's just what Kimball went with, right? I don't, there's, I could tell there's a lot to interpret and I'm sure there's a couple different ways that people see this ending. But for me, like, I don't want to say it didn't happen because like, I feel like that's lame and a cop out. I'd prefer that it happened but i like the idea that he just he gets away with it i don't know maybe it's just because of the fact that everyone gets mixed up nobody knows who anybody is that he gets to get away with it because how can you pin down one person in a fucking like it's a needle in a haystack everyone in that firm is the exact same fucking person that how are you supposed to pick out the one bad egg i feel like <laughs> my brain is spiraling just trying to break down and think about what the hell happened in this ending but in closing i loved the ending i just i love the fact that that shot of him sitting there like he he's like realizing like dude i'm just gonna i'm getting away with this I, I i fucking i just love it i fuck I, the movie has been was ridiculous and it was very over the top and very crazy just crazy overall like it was fucking insane man that i feel like that ending definitely it fit this might be one of my new favorite movies. Like it, it might crack top 10. I don't know. I had such a great fucking time. Just watching Christian Bale do his thing was immaculate. It was just mwah. Fuck the other, like who cares about the rest of the cast, man? This was the Christian Bale show. He fucking demolished this shit. Like the way he delivered his lines, the expressions he had on his face, his body language, everything was perfect it felt like like there's nothing i would change about the patrick bateman character and just the acting overall like there's nothing that was a master class i think so yeah man this was a phenomenal time i'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about the ending maybe it's more clear cut than i uh, i picked up on maybe it's way more obvious i think maybe i'm overcomplicating it i don't know i'll be very curious to read the comments on this one let me know guys but that's it for american psycho hell yeah